So today I'm solving again uh, the best combinations of the past month. So today I'm looking at the February of 2014 and I have a small collection of tactics that I found in the, from the games played in the, in the recent tournament. So here it's White's turn. Uh, this position seems relatively simple. Um, so I'm sure the it's not hard to find. It's Queen takes H7, he takes, I go Rook H3 and had he, you know, continued the game, it would have ended with me. Checkmate. Excellent. Um, so, moving on to the next one, I presume here it's White's turn again. Um, it seems that this one revolves around the. Uh, sacrifice on d4 because this knight is, is really instrumental for the uh, defense so let, let's see uh, rook takes d4 seems logical the only issue is that well and he has really two responses if he takes with a pawn let's see which way he took so this is the right move like if if he takes with the rook then I should be able to come in with my own rook here and he can't play rook d8 and then with the you know with these two pieces it seems like I should be able to eventually get through to him so say rook back uh, sorry king here I could I could just take on a7 here and now and I should be fine I think I could also just say take here with check say he blocks and then I take this seems very devastating for black. He doesn't have any real counterplay here. His rook is still pinned, whites up many pawns. So this seems like this seems pretty decisive. So in the game he took with a pawn. And that seems to, to make sense. But then comes Queen to C six. He has only one retreat and I think Rook B seven like Rook G seven should now wrap up the game. Here, black resigns, so that makes sense. Uh, so this one is pretty tricky. Uh, it's not really clear what what should happen here. Um, and um, white would like to. to give this checkmate but the rook is guarding d8 naturally and I mean if I go queen h4 he just goes g5 that doesn't achieve anything if I go queen d2 he goes knight to d5 and he blocks and again I'm getting nowhere exchanging queens doesn't give me anywhere black is just up a pawn and if I don't create something really quickly um, things will go sour for white so that means I have to deal with this rook I have to distract this rook from guarding d8 because I'm only one check away from like winning the game uh, from really giving checkmate. Notice that um, black cannot castle. So if, say, I play a move like this, trying to distract his rook, then if he takes, then this is checkmate, and this is the the point of the combination of you know queen to c1. The important thing is that he cannot castle because the bishop is blocking this diagonal and, and, and castling here is illegal. So let's see how the game continued. So he actually went queen to g5. Ton ton ton. So um, how that naturally covers up d8 square. How do I now um, continue this initiative? F4. F4 definitely comes to mind. Does he have enough squares after F4? Uh, I mean, after F4... Um, I mean after F4 he can also go Queen E7. Well, like, I if I go F4... Oops, looks like that was not the move. Um, so in the game he actually played here, here, 
And how did he win this? Maybe f4 now? h4. Oh yeah, and the and the queen has no good way of, of hiding itself. And at the very least white wins the exchange. So he went like this. Let's see. Was there a problem with the move? I was thinking about f4. Well, one natural problem is that he can take on c1 first. c1. Um, I have to take on g5. He takes. I have to take back. And he's alive. He's he's more than alive. He's up a pawn. So f4 first or h4 first is definitely a mistake because of the, the capture on c1. So, so I went a bit astray here. But uh, still a pretty instructive tactic. Um, so I'll stop here for now.